Hello Google, you must be fully clear on hardware, input and output devices by now. Uh, yeah, sort of. I know that the physical components of a computer or the parts you can see and touch are called hardware. Absolutely right. And some examples are? Well, let's see. Um, the monitor, the mouse, etc. are hardware. Correct. But I'm still not very clear on the various input and output devices. There are so many of them, Toggle. Don't worry. Let's take them up one by one. First of all, what are input devices? Hmm. Input devices are devices that accept input from the user and convert it into a form that the computer can understand. Well done. Now there are different kinds of input devices. The mouse and the keyboard are the most common ones. Some others have specialized uses. For example, supermarkets, banks, etc. use various special input devices to collect large amounts of data rapidly. Such devices include barcode readers, magnetic ink character readers, optical character readers and card readers. What is a barcode toggle? Look at this toffee box for example. See these vertical bars? They together form a barcode and it includes all the information such as price, place of manufacture, etc. The barcode for each product is a unique combination of vertical bars that represents product information like the price. A barcode reader is used to scan the code and the information is passed on to a computer. The computer uses the information to identify the product. Goggle, do you know what MICR is? I have read that it stands for Magnetic Ink Character Recognition. That's right. And what is Magnetic Ink? Uh... Magnetic Ink is a special ink that contains magnetic particles of iron oxide. Okay. A magnetic ink character reader is a type of input device that can scan characters printed in magnetic ink. MICR is used extensively in banks. See this check? The check number, bank code and branch code are printed in magnetic ink. Do you know how the amount written in ordinary ink on this check is read? How toggle? Ah, for that... We use a device called an optical character reader and this process is called Optical character recognition, my teacher told me. That's right, Goggle. Okay, now have you seen this sheet? I once filled up the answers to a quiz competition on such a form. Yes, such forms are commonly used in multiple choice examinations or quizzes. The boxes or circles are filled using a dark pencil or an ink to indicate the answers. This sheet is then fed into an optical mark reader which scans and prints the result. Another interesting in input device is a card reader. Do you know what it is meant for? No toggle. Card readers are used to read information on cards such as credit cards and smart cards. Credit cards are example of magnetic strip cards. Information in the form of numbers and characters is magnetically stored on a magnetic strip. When the card is swiped through a magnetic card reader, it reads the information quickly and accurately. Smart cards on the other hand contain a small chip instead of a magnetic strip. A smart card reader can read and write data on the card. Petrol companies and departmental stores use smart cards to keep track of how many points customers have earned by buying goods. So, that's about input devices. That was interesting, Toggle. Shall we take up output devices now? Yes, Toggle. I know something about output devices. Output devices convey information from the computer to the user. Absolutely. Apart from printers and monitors, some other output devices are LCD projectors, braille printers and plotters. 
An LCD is also called a liquid crystal display projector. It shows the output from a computer on a large screen. It is commonly used for displaying presentations during meetings and conferences. What's a Braille printer toggle? A Braille printer produces Braille printouts of computer files which helps blind people to read. It works with software that translates text to Braille. A plotter is a printing device that is used for creating high quality graphics, charts, graphs, tables and diagrams. They are commonly used by architects. Well, that's about input and output devices. I must rush now. I'm due for some upgradations. Bye for now. Bye Toggle. Thanks and see you later.